what's going on youtube fam today i want to show you guys a quick look at the sale color off-white jordan fives before i go over the kicks and hop into the review if you're new to my channel first time stumbling across a video of mine i just want to say first welcome welcome to the channel thank you for stopping by and checking out a video um while you're here go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that notification bell for me that way anytime i upload new material uh, post anything you guys will be notified y'all can head to the channel and you can check out the new material that i uploaded for you guys if you are on your social media platform such as twitter instagram my username and my handle is pretty much the same on all my social media outlets so go ahead and give me a follow at i am tmcii um also if you enjoy the video smash that thumbs up button for me that goes a long long way that let me know that you guys enjoy my content it motivates me to keep posting shoes whenever i cop something to put a video up for you guys so go ahead and do that for me and also if you guys have questions or comments or just want to talk to me about anything down in the comment section i usually reply back to you guys um if i don't reply i would at least hit the thumbs up button or i would hit the heart button just to let you know that i saw your comment and just kind of to acknowledge the fact that i saw you guys left the comment so now that all that intro stuff is out of the way let's dive right into it so this is the second off-white jordan 5 we have uh, the first one came out around all-star weekend well dropped for all-star weekend and i have those also if you want to see a video you can head to my channel and check out the the black pair and these are the sale color. A lot of people, you know, I say, hey, that, hey, I love shoe is from, from some of the comments I'm seeing. And uh, the camera isn't really picking up the true color of these because it's more of a, a yellow. A lot of people call them like piss yellow or they calling them like the piss fives or something just because it looks, it really looks like a, a yellow color, a, a real off yellow. It's not really a, a, a cream or anything. It's really more of a, a yellow uh, tint on the shoe. When I saw these, I was like, okay, this is this is a cop to me because I feel like this 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 yellow or this off white color on here, it gives it that vintage worn age look. And Virgil had on a pair for All Star. I saw him during All Star Weekend, and his pair was slightly different from these. And I thought that would that they were dope. Um, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a hate or love shoe. I think you either gonna be completely all for them with this off white color, this yellow tint and that vintage look, or you like, nah, this is just something I, I just can't do. I can't rock with these at all. But like I said, I was a fan when I saw them and I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta add these to the collection. So I'm gonna talk about sizing and comfort and all that stuff later on in the video when I toss them on feet. Uh, but I just wanna make sure I give you guys good angles of the shoe and cover everything on the shoe. And just like with all other off-whites, they have um, the right right here. You can't really see a lot of it because it's, it's behind the netting right here. Um, it came with two sets of laces, two, uh, two extra sets of laces, the red and the black. And I may go with the red. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think the black will look good in these at all. Um, the the cream or the yellow pair looks kind of dope to me. So I may either, might just keep the keep these in here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. So... Here's the little tag that you see on here. Um, you know, this is this varies sometimes. You know, sometimes we get some and they don't have anything written on it, but this one does have something written on it this time. Uh, just like all the other ones, you can see that they have shoe lace written on the shoes, on the laces, um, the upside down Jordan right here. Uh, show you guys the insoles on each. And I think they're the same, black with that red on both shoes. And there's not much support in these, uh, you know, far as the the ankle collars is, you know, I, I'm not sure if if, if somebody's going to hoop or the, hoop in these and play ball in them. I think these just for casual wear because uh, there's it's not, not a lot of support at all in the ankle area on these. Um, and here's the outsole and the outsole have that age vintage look gives it like that really, really old school look to me. And that's what kind of drawing me to these. Once I saw this, I was like, man, I love the way that look. Cause I love kicks when they, when they worn and have some miles on them. I feel like they give character to the shoe and they have the Nike Air on here. Um, overall quality wise, I don't have that many glue stains on my pair. I mean, there's some glue marks on here, but it's not a lot. 
Um, it is some glue marks on here though. Uh, the material is like a, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's like a, a nylon, uh, it's, a, it's a material. It's not a leather at all. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. You know, it's not leather. It's it's, it's more of a like a material, almost like a jacket type material almost. Uh, that's what the entire shoe is constructed of. I've seen some people cut the holes out on here. I won't do that. I'm not about to damage my shoe and mess the shoe up. But um, I think this is pretty much it for the shoes, guys. I'm going to show you guys the box in one second before I get ready to toss these on feet. Uh, just making sure I captured everything on here. Uh, let's slide these out the way really quick. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the box. And I showed you guys the holes in the tongue. So they're a little bit different on each one. Uh, I don't think this one have a hole in the tongue, but you have a hole in the tongue on this on this one. So let's slide this out the way and we go with the box. I'll show you guys the label first. So this is the label, the, the color breakdown, your product code, retail is just 225. Um, and just like a lot of the other off-whites we've been getting, they kind of have that Swiss cheese look where they have the holes all inside the box. So you have the holes here, holes here, um, and you have the holes here on the side right here. Uh, the tissue paper in the inside of the box, open this up, um, and it has this written on it. So kind of zoom in so you guys can see that, have that off-white written on the paper. Um, has the shoe trees that came inside of it, uh, the jump man on the tissue, um, but it all has that same thing written on there, the uh, little off-white branding all over. You have um, so you have a uh, your your stamp and your QC sticker. So uh, they have it on my pair. I know they don't always have that on all pairs, but my pair has the little quality control marking in the insides of the box, just for an FYI. But um, that's enough for the kicks. I'm gonna take them off of here now, lace them up, toss them on feet really quick, and I'm gonna show you guys how they look on feet. You guys hang tight one second. Let's toss these on feet. All right, guys. So here is an on feet look of the off-white Jordan 5s. I wanna show you guys how they look really quick on feet. Um, so the first thing in terms of sizing, um, normally in fives, I usually go down a half size in my fives and I have a medium to narrow width foot. And with these not having a uh, much padding or cushioning in the inside, you know, having that, that deconstruct and a lot of it being made out of this, this loose material. Um, if you like a snug fit, like I do, I think you could go down a half size and I think you'll be okay. Uh, if you don't like a snug fit, go true to size and you'll be all right. If you have wide feet, I think you could go true to size. I don't see the need to size up in these at all. Uh, but I think it's all pretty much preference. If you like a snug fit, go down a half size. If you have medium to narrow with feet. And if you have um, wide feet, go true to size. And I think you'll be okay. Uh, for as comfort goes, this is the same technology for the most part from the 90s, early 90s when the fives came around uh, and you're still gonna get that. There's not a lot of cushion when you walk, like you, you feel a lot of the ground still in these. Um, there is some some movement in them because of the type of material that they used on the upper. Uh, but other than that, it's still a, uh, like a real flat shoe. You don't have a lot of cushion or softness uh, on the outsole and midsole, really, you don't really feel like feel a lot of the ground when you walk. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure what laces I'm going to do in these. I'm most likely going to keep this uh, the off white color in. I'm not sure how how I feel yet with the red, and I don't really like how the black look in these. So this may be the way I rock them whenever I decide to rock these out. And obviously, I'll pop all this stuff on. I just left all that on for video purposes. Um, but you guys drop me a comment down at the bottom. Let me know which laces you think look best in these. And um, let me know if you cop these. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell, uh, especially if you're new. Um, I enjoy you guys' time. Thank y'all for checking out the video. Um, stay tuned, more materials and all that good stuff to come. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Okay, peace.